lawsuit headed to federal court involving one military family. The claim the service members got sick from mold in military housing. Now a jury will decide the case. Ten on your side's Deanna LeBlanc is in Norfolk with more. Deanna. Yeah, Anita and Tom, it's been two long days of jury selection. In fact, the jury has not come out of court yet. We do anticipate that this will move forward to trial tomorrow. And we learned today that the family being represented in this case is hoping to be awarded between three and ten million dollars. Now, the defense in this case is a group of companies that makes up what many of us know as Lincoln Military Housing. Now, in total, there are 19 families being represented by by this team of attorneys, but this case is about one family in particular. Now, according to court documents, they want damages for medical issues. They say they suffered when they allege that Lincoln Military Housing knew about the presence of mold in their home and didn't do enough to keep them safe. In one instance, they claim that military housing would paint over mold or they would sop up excess water from frequently leaking toilets, but would never do anything about the water damage to the walls or the floors. Now, the attorneys, again, representing these 19 families, say that uh, they hope that Judge Dumar's ruling in this one family's case will help them decide how to move forward with the remaining 18 other families. And they say it could be a landmark decision that eventually could impact thousands of families that have lived in military housing and could validate the medical connection between mold and impacts on people's health and well-being. But again, that's all yet to be decided. We expect this trial to start tomorrow. We'll have much more as it continues. Live in Norfolk, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side.